right. So before um, going to the new game plus, I do have one thing that I need to do. It shouldn't take too long. Um, let's see. Just missing uh, one cryptic vessel. Hello, Mr. Mod. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, which was in the upper house, which was ah here. Watch any on VOD, hope you had good sleep. Yep, had a good rest. Uh saw the uh the ending then. How the game ended. So there are some slightly different endings, uh I believe two or three. So on my next new game plus I'm gonna do um, a full live playthrough, which we already kind of did based on my choices and looking at the achievements I got. We kind of already did a live playthrough, but <laughs> we need we did like choose a lot of truth options as well. It was mostly lies though, but I need to do like a full on live playthrough because there is a uh, special weapon that we can get as well for doing that. If you remember the Pinocchio nose growing out of the uh, the portrait, then it's something to do with that. Um, and then we'll also do a, f a full truth playthrough as well. That'll be the last one that we do. Two different achievements. Uh, different achievements for all that. Mm. So there is a... I think I know which room I'm supposed to go through. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to have to look around for a bit. And, uh, figure it out. Yeah, um, I was surprised how quickly I was able to beat the final, final boss, the puppet thing, right? It went surprisingly well, I'd say. Alright, so we have to reach this dark room that's nearby. some damage. That's that motivity build for you. Got good with perfect parry. Yeah, you know, I was... <clears throat> I... So... The, I feel like the parry in this game is a, is very forgiving because I've I believe Sekiro is oh this is the ladder that I missed yeah I games like Sekiro are a bit more punishing if you like spam parry too much this game doesn't really have that so I thought the game was a little bit easier but then I looked at some streams of other people playing like, I think Lyric is streaming right now. And he was stuck in the Archbishop boss getting his ass beat. And I'm like, huh. Which, I mean, Lyric's a gamer, you know? Maybe the game isn't that easy, but... Alright, we got this. This is the item that we missed. I don't think the combat's too difficult, but then again, I've done a very strong, like, 
tanky and like strength sort of build. Not that there's too many options in, in terms of builds, but with like my weapon choices and all that, my damage is super insane, and um, carrying is pretty forgiving in this game. It feels like, though I don't compare to like Dark Souls because that's all I've really played. Yeah, there's the stagger meter on the player too. And so, all that. You're always welcome here, friend. Right. No trouble at all. Last one. I almost consider it my oldest hobby. Trust me, I won't let you down. There we are. A deciphered cipher just like, well, just like I used to make. If you ever need me to help you decode another message, I'm at your service. <clears throat> yeah, because in this game, if you have very, if you're very tanky, very strong defensive stats, you just have a lot of activity too, I guess, for the damage. The parry system with like the weapons, like at least the weapons I was using, had very high. Um, what are they called? Yeah, the damage reduction rate while guarding. Plus, I had guarding like enhancements and buffs too. Um, like this is seventy-seven point five six, right? That's not even including the augments that I have, but like the P organs. So, even if I'm just standing there blocking, not even perfect pairing, I'm reducing so much damage. And then as soon as I hit back, then it's just all like healed back, you know, or at least a, a large majority of it. So it makes it pretty easy to just like stand and parry a lot or just spam the parry button when you think it's about to hit and then you'll perfect block a lot of stuff. So it's not too difficult in that regard. I think if you try to dodge instead of parry, that would probably make the game a lot more difficult. But um, yeah, I, th I feel like this build made the playthrough kind of easier to like do bosses or just go through the game on a first try. So, but we're going to be doing some different weapons and some different builds uh, now that we uh, have beaten the game. We'll try out other stuff because I want to do the same build again, of course. So this is the one we missed, the Jeweled Cryptic Vessel. Check the ground at the end of the cliff of Krat Central Station Street, where there is a good view of the ocean and Krat's landmarks. Appendix. Shorthand report from the time is attached for mutual trust. I'll give you as much money as you want. Just let me out, please. It's my duty to protect you. Please follow the directions. There are puppets everywhere. Where do you want me to go? First, Krat Central Station. If you fail to escape, head to St. Frangelico Cathedral. Archbishop Andreas is accepting refugees. Are you going to survive? That's in God's hands. Just in case I have buried extra equipment on the beach by the train station, there you can do your repairs. We're counting on you, Alamfo. Alright, so this is... Oh yeah, we know this spot. Yeah, okay. Check the ground at the end of the cliff. Where there is a good view of the ocean and across landmarks. Cool. Hopefully this one wasn't like missable or anything, because we did... Go pretty far in the story. I have to go like... Yeah, here. I wonder if I can do it from here. It's technically the same spot, it's just a different part in the story. So it should work, but eh, maybe not. Let's see. Um let's see where is this? D 
to head back to the hotel. Hello, merchant bro. That goes there. Buy something. I need to purchase all these weapons for uh, an achievement. I gotta make sure I do that, but I can just do that on my next playthrough. It's not a big deal. We're on our way to the... I think I'll go from Aza, maybe. I'm trying to retrace my steps how to get there from this point. Oh no, it's this Central Station Street, yeah. <clears throat> I believe at the point you get this vessel, you're not at this part in the story. Nothing's all fucked up. But it should still work for what we need to do. I think. Hopefully. Uh, yes, we go out here to the right. Poke the crystals. So I wonder if on New Game Plus... if it'll just reset my stats as soon as I started or if I have to wait to go to the stat reset or something to do that. It'll actually make the enemy stronger or what's going on? Okay, so this should be the spot. However, we're kind of in the messed up part of this area. Let's see if this works at all. to use a gesture here. Hmm, might not work. I have to come back to do this. There we go, we got it. Awesome. Decipher all cryptic vessels and claim the rewards. Alright, cool. That was the last thing we needed in this uh, run. It tones. Ding. Apparel. Looks kind of nice. Very similar to some of the other. Hunting apparel of the Atone. His clothes still bear the wounds of regret and despair. She's proud of protecting people as stalker. As a stalker. However, her dignity was crushed when she realized that she had become a guide to hell. Oh, I still like this outfit. This one's drippy. You gonna try next? I think I want to do the... The wacky build. Oh wait, I should go talk to that one NPC first. The advance um, stat that enhances your like electric, fire, and acid weapons. Some weapons scale well with advance, and those are all the weapons that have modifiers on them, and that increases like their damage and stuff. Technique is for a different set of weapons. I'll probably maybe I'll do that in my truth playthrough, but I think I want to try the advance one next. See how it goes.
Alright, um, I should go talk to the NPCs. 6.8k. Know where he is, at least. If I can remember. Uh, is this the fastest way to get there? Actually, no, I guess the culvert would be better. Thank you for the hydrate. Finally, I can hydrate. Thank you. Used up all five during the 48 hour stream. <laughs> I guess this guy sells. I'll just buy whatever I can for right now because it'll keep all my items, my weapons, I think. Interested to see how the advanced thing works with like if I have so many points in that stat, how it will affect my burn, electrify, acid damage on my weapons. Might be kind of nice crazy. Loot, yeah. If you need anything, just say the word. So I will have to come back to this guy. I believe he has a golden, um, other types of, uh, what's it called? Oh, I didn't know. I forgot to take this off. Uh, records that we can get that are golden. We have to buy them from NPCs, though, in the New Game Plus. All right. Well, that's everything. I bought a couple weapons, but we're just gonna start the new game plus. I got everything I needed here. All right, so we are 36 out of 42 achievements. We have two hidden, which is, um, just a different ending pretty much one is the truth playthrough and the other is picking the other ending option that i didn't pick um that one also so that one gets two achievements and we just have collect and play all records collect all normal weapons collect all special weapons so we know how to i looked it up know how to do that there's nothing too crazy be fine but let's uh let's restart see what happens you start the next playthrough you won't be able to continue the current playthrough do you wish to continue the items below will not be inherited all collectibles except records so like you know all the notes and stuff you find except our records so that's good um, the crowd supply boxes and the Vanini collections. So we keep our stats and everything. So does that mean if I want to try something else, I should reallocate my stats now before I go to the the next playthrough? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but also, I don't have enough ergo to make. Well, we keep all our upgrade materials and everything. 
wonder how much the reallocation costs. Because we don't unlock it till like later in the story, right? Till what was it? Six? Seven? Yeah, till seven is pretty late. I wish I could do a, or, I don't know, maybe it does do a stat reset. Because, um, the game wouldn't just, the game would be too easy unless it scales, but it doesn't say anything about it. Let me type in Liza P New Game Plus. Here are the following assets that carry over to a new game plus cycle in Lies of P. Weapons, ergo, currency, costumes, ambulance, gestures, yeah, all that, defense parts, legion arms, records, player level, and stats, P organs. Does the world reset? Uh, yes. So it looks like Sophia prompted a message if you want to reset the P organ at the start. Reset your upgrades and you regain the total number of quartz you spent. Oh, here we go. Other changes in New Game Plus. Um, P acquires more ergo from killing enemies and bosses. Increased health and damage inflicted by regular enemies and bosses. Upgraded to plus one versions of certain equipment items, like defense parts. Ooh. Okay, so let me check how much this costs. If I was to reset level. Before I do that, let me check. What are my stats right now? 30, 20, 25, 50, pretty much. So I do have the vitality plus four. I gotta keep that in mind. How far back do I have to run out? It only costs 10, but it costs more each time you do it. The level has been reset. Well, these are my starting stats because of what I chose at the beginning, right? Interesting. I'd, honestly, I'd like to just start a new game entirely. However, um... I need to do New Game Plus to unlock certain things that are New Game Plus only. So there's that. Also doing a New Game Plus Plus would be fun too, so. Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot that because of my starting class, this is just what I have. <laughs> so putting points into advance would be rough. Because it starts so low. It's not balanced. I can't change my starting class, can I? But you can change starting on New Game Plus probably, right? Yeah.
Although it looks like the starting choice on New Game Plus is... I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so... Wow, this increases my defense by a lot, huh? Should have some advanced weapons I can try out. How much does it cost again? Oh, it just goes up by five. That's not a whole lot. advanced weapons here. Oh my god, the fire attack is so high on this. Jesus. Let's go choose a weapon to mess around with. An advanced weapon. Hello, my. How you going? Imagine I just like do myself, the game gets infinitely harder by by what I've done. I've taken away all my motivity. Oh no. Um, let's see. Are any of these ants? I don't think so. One of the special weapons are, no. So we have the dagger, the carcass crystal axe blade. Kind of sick. The acidic great curved sword. Black steel cutter handle. Yeah, uh, crystal spear, electric coil, it's at the start. Let's try this out. Just what weapons feel the best? What would I want to use? That weapon, that one's pretty cool. Uh, I think the only option I'd maybe go for is this. So it looks like it's only the heavy attacks. That apply it. Oh, maybe not. Let's see what applies to acid. Applies acid. So, what does acidic do? That just like makes the boss stagger more, right? Wait, there's a guide.
Electric Shock. Um, both the character and monsters will take increased electric boots and physical damage. Monsters will experience stagger, increased stagger damage. The higher electric blitz resistance, slower the extra stock. Okay. So they take increased stagger damage. The staggers them more. Um, monsters will experience slower natural HP recovery. Uh, increased fire damage and receive continuous fire when they're overheated. And then the K. Acid damage. Character and monsters increase the acid damage taken. It inflicts continuous weapon durability and acid damage on your character. It increases destruction damage dealt to monsters. Destruction damage. Do we know what destruction damage is? Eyes of P destruction damage. Status effects. I go with a fire one. That sounds fun to like mess around with, you know. Let's see, destruction. Oh, destruction grindstone. That was one. Um, increases the player's weapon stagger attack, dealing more damage to enemies. Grindstone's going to okay. So basically, the the heavy hit. A big, big hit, basically. Okay. Should we go with some burn? Should we try burning everything? What else is there? Any other advanced ones? There's ones, I remember there's ones that we haven't bought yet, I think. So this uh acid axe too. Oh, this is taking damage. Not damage as well. So I can just choose one of these to to upgrade. What do we think? I think the fire steel cutter blade's kinda sick. We can upgrade all three types during our playthrough because we'll have probably have get a lot of more resources, right? So we can mess around with like that one, that one, and then like a an electric one too. Alright, try this. See how it goes. I just want to say that's why I should. Uh, don't need to alter the handle. Well, I guess I can increase the motivity slightly if I wanted to. Whoa, wait, you can go from A to S? What? But well, my motivity never went from A to S. When I did the upgrade. Oh, wait, what? Motivity not go to S on any of these because I just didn't have one in my inventory. But you can actually get it to S. What didn't know that. Maybe because I just didn't have them in my inventory at the time, so it didn't say what it would do. I guess. Okay. Interesting. You have been such a I just curious now. Why I should... Have enough motivity cranks.
that's just the max it can go, I guess. Motivity can't go up to S, but this can. Weird. I wonder if technique can go up to S. That's kind of cool, though. Okay, so we'll just get this to this rank then. And more to damage. That can't go up any higher. Advance S. Sorry, I'm looking up lots of um, stuff on the wiki, just kind of like learning the small things about the game, right? Oh yeah, we don't have enough uh, air go to really get this upgraded. We can go kill some stuff for it though. Wait, I wonder if I could. I've, I've literally never sold anything before. Is there anything that I have just like a shitload of? Not really. Not really anything that's worth much, to be honest. some easy enemies to kill here. How much this burn damage is going to be? Starts burning right away, huh? Are you just gonna dot take some bosses down with this? Let's get this upgraded. It's gonna be fun to use on some bosses, I'm sure. Watch New Game Plus is gonna have like super strong fucking enemies and bosses, and I'm not gonna have my motivity. I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> Damage isn't bad though, considering. I just want safety. That's why I should make sure. This is its fire attack and physical attack. 
this. I can't upgrade this. I just need more ergo, goddammit. <laughs> I have enough. I think some of the enemies here get some decent amount. We get plus eight, we get it to plus ten. Ah yes, that guy in there. Classic. They're instantly like getting burned though. So. one spot that spawns like a lot of them a lot of like high hp ones what is it the inside the bridge here they give a decent amount of ergo all right we'll start the new game plus here soon so i've just been uh picking stuff up messing around Side. No, that goes back to the room. Wait, what's over here? Ah, oh, this way. So I have fire damage. What if I... I haven't tried this, but... I have a fire damage weapon. I can't apply it to it once, but I have a fire weapon that I can apply like this to, right? So can't be used with the current equipped weapon. Ah. I see, I see, I see. I guess technically you could take this handle and throw it on anything, right? I wanted to like, uh, do some weird shit, but advanced no point is like, uh, those star fragments that's what I should do I don't need that
Oh no, they don't do any damage anymore because of my motivity is all gone. So oh. fucking rip. Oh, does such little damage. My mind. It's okay. We'll we'll get one that scales with advance instead. Oh yeah, these guys give a lot. That's just sad. Guys, I think, uh, <laughs> I think doing an advance run is going to be hard. <laughs> so doesn't do as much damage. My other weapons, that's for okay. I'm not going all the way up there. We should have enough. There we go. It's, uh, we're at plus eight right now, so I just need nine and ten, or, I think. The motivity damage was just too high, man. But at least we have, like, some burn. That's kind of cool. Or we can use some of the other weapons, too, that apply acid or electric shock. Electric shock might be pretty pog because of the stagger damage. I can level I up one of those next. I just want that's why I should Dodge Morrison slider. Yeah, I have to take off some other stuff. Like um I'm still slightly heavy, but if I take off some of the heavier, you know, rings or whatever. This makes me slightly heavy. Take this off. Interesting. Is that, um, low as it goes? I guess so. If I'm slightly heavy, then my dodge is like... Oh, maybe it is based on percentage, not the slightly heavy thing. It's pretty fast. I don't know how good the dodging is, like the iframes and all that. I've done it very little. <laughs> Be honest, so doesn't seem like that increases it too much. off. Now if I'm heavy. Ah, there it is. <laughs> that's, that's a that's a hefty dodge right there. 
Yeah, and then and then to put another weapon on, like uh, yeah, this fucking thing, very heavy. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I still attack normally at least, but. <laughs> Big boy, shake the ground when you hop in. Yeah. Literally. God damn. <laughs> Jesus. All right, all right. Let's let's get started on the new game plus here. Messing around. All right, we have this uh, advance scales with advance. So the the fire attack on this is very high because of the advanced scaling it being at S. That's cool. Slightly heavy seems fine. Maybe it's based on percentages because this is still very fast dodge, but let me try dodging. Um, the introduction rate while guarding is still good on this. I definitely think New Game Plus is going to be a lot harder um, based on my build and stuff. The weapons, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I think I might use like an electric weapon since that improves stagger a lot, which is pretty important. My capacity is so high. If I take this off, then I'm kind of heavy um, with my current equipped setup, which is fine. But if I can, if I can, what the weight of this legion arm is 11. Wait, that reminds me, the, the legion arms have different weights, right? This is probably the heaviest one. His gray hair, I guess being a real boy is stressful. It is. It's tough out here. What scales will advance? Pandemonium. The yeah, flame burge. Oh, obviously, because those are the ones that cause uh, status effects. Okay. Unfortunately, not falcon eyes. Sag. So the flame one that burns and pandemonium that causes acid and also fulminous which causes uh, electric blitz. So we'll put this on and we'll uh, increase the fire attack range and enhance fire after a certain time upon a continuous fire attack. Fire explosion becomes available upon a continuous fire attack. Modify this. We have this max upgraded now. And... The weight is less on this, so I think that means I can take off the weight ring because of how much capacity I have. All right? Like 25. This keeps me slightly heavy. Yeah. Og. I can actually put something on this, not the weight ring because of my previous spell. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is the Ezreal skin I've won. It's surprised to see you on PB. A send me an invite after this. Jesus Christ. Wait. It's oh the pulse cell thing. Not you too, Doge man. Not you too, man. Wait, what was the weight ring? Oh, it was only a 4.1 weight though. It's critical attack, damage, puppets. There are some hefty rings if we were gonna equip any of those. Increases ergo acquisition when killing enemies. Hunter's amulet. Increase weapon durability, consumption, increase max legion. Alright, we'll we'll put the hunter's amulet on for now. But uh later on I probably would increase like my Um HP or something. Grid, grid attack. It was doing blue flames at the end. Oh 
my god. Oh, I see. Once that activates, I can press F. Jesus. How much damage is that? Okay, this scaling with advance is kind of nuts. Damn. I'm gonna burn everything. Holy shit. Oh yeah, we can reset the P organs too on New Game Plus, so we could go for like a bunch of uh... Like, I don't know, we could get a bunch of upgrades for like the Flame Burge and shit, you know? Like make that the Legion Armstrong. That would also be dog, but... Well, let's collect, uh, I think we can collect the gold coins real quick. Hit up the XDD tree and go restart. We'll probably, we'll probably reset our, uh, the organs then. We'll get a free reset off of, uh, the new game plus start. making sure that I don't start a new game and then like forget to do something you know but I think we're good I got my weapon upgraded like I wanted we save everything anyways so should be uh should be fine Alright, so this new game, we're gonna be lying. Like, full on lying. Because there's some stuff we gotta do for that. Mainly a special weapon and uh, a record and stuff. And then we do a truth run. So. Alright, all collectibles uh, except records, crown supply boxes, and Vanini collections do not transfer over. Uh, let's do it. Alright, so we're full on lying to everyone. Geppetto's puppet. Yes. Yeah, quotes. Look at that. Be back there. Be back there. I know it's back there. Open up. Lion. 